वेलकम टू द न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ लाइफ ऑफ ए जियोलॉजिस्ट We are in search of the crystalline quartz, which is present in this area. The local people call it as a pencil stone or something. So we are here to just see what is this pencil stone, and uh, it seems to be the transparent quartz, which is crystallized in its crystal form. That is actually hexagonal shape. So. we will be exploring in this forest and we'll try to find out some the pencil stone my friends sesong and rajiv are accompanying me in this expedition we are walking along a trail which was made by villagers here we need to walk at least 1 km up the hill to reach our spot We are slowly climbing up the hill. So at last we have reached our destination. Sesong and Rajiv has started digging the spot. So we have collected the small quartz in its crystalline form. Being a geologist, I can surely say that this is a mineral called quartz. Normally these minerals are seen in a hexagonal shape but it is not very common to find quartz in that perfect shape because it may not always have the favorable condition for growing it into the perfect hexagonal shape we will dig here to get more such fresh pieces which will look like a sharpened pencil finding any mineral in its perfect crystal shape is a happy feeling for a geologist So when we collected this quartz crystals, they are actually dirty, and now we are trying to clean this by using soap and a toothbrush. So this much we have to clean. So this portion, this quartz crystal we have to clean again. This is semi-cleaned, and these are perfectly cleaned. and the top ones are uh, transparent crystals of quartz see how the transparent variety look like it's actually amazing my layman audience probably may not understand what this quartz actually is it is basically a mineral which is made up of silica and oxygen simply we can say sio2 it is one among the most common minerals on the earth this mineral is widely used in our clocks and watches if you look at the clocks in your house or your wrist watch you would find quartz written in it it's because quartz is a major component of watches and clocks its use doesn't end here Sometimes it is used as gemstones they are component of mirrors and ceramics they used as abrasives so we can say that quartz is such a unavoidable mineral for the day to day purposes of human kind stay tuned for more geology related videos catch you in the next episode till then take care goodbye